What's up guys, my name is Joshua, or Composites you want, and today I'm bringing you guys another plugin tutorial variations uh, with the plugin Griebler. Uh, before I get right into the video, I'm going to ask for 150 likes on this tutorial, and I'll post three more materials for you guys to work with. Uh, thanks again for 150 likes on the Nitro Blast variation. I really appreciate that, and if you guys didn't know, the reason why I've been posting on the con content lately is because C2's computer got messed up, Microsoft failed a few of the updates, and he ended up having to switch from Windows 7 to Windows 8 and re-get all of his programs and all of his files. So that's why he's been out for the past week, and it's just been me uploading all the content. So I appreciate you guys for at least supporting me still. I know it can get kind of repetitive with me posting every few days, and nothing from C2, but I assure you he will be back in a bit. So, uh, basically what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to get this cylinder uh, plug-in uh, kind of variation from Griebler. It's really simple, it's just a few uh, trip, tips and tricks with the polygons, and I'm going to get right into it. So, I'm going to hide our actual effect here, and we're going to start with the Darth AI path. We're just going to make an extrude nerb, and make the Darth AI path the child to make an object. What we're going to go to is the caps on the extrude nerb make them both a fillet cap with a 0.5 radius for both and the next step is really important we're, what we are going to do is we're going to go to type quadrangles regular grid put it to zero and then put it up to 1.01 and then next what we're going to do is bring a copy an extra one we're going to hide this bottom one and make this second one editable by pressing c on the keyboard if you don't want to do that there's always this button over here and we're going to go into is we're going to grab cap 1 and we're going to pull that out of our object and we're going to delete the rest. So uh, what we have now is a single cap and if you look at the way the polygons are format, it's formatted in the back you'll see that they are all just uh, really like it's a grid almost except there's some variation and it. it looks really cool and it's actually really helpful for the Griebler effect I'm going to show you guys. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go to plugins, Griebler. If you don't have Griebler, there's always ways to get it. Just look it up on the internet. There's a bunch of different ways you can get it. You can pay for it. There's some other shady ways, but you know, uh, there, you can obviously get it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our cap one a child of the Griebler effect. I'm going to take a material I made and I'm just going to put it on that. That way I can see what I'm doing with the line work. And as you'll see, we have all of these Griebles coming out. And I didn't put that on right, I need cubic. So we have all these Griebles coming out of our actual object. We don't want that, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Griebler. We're going to go to Stock Griebles and unclick Generate Griebles. And we're going to go back to Base, make our Max 3 and our Minimum 0. And that adds some variation to the steps of the bases. And you don't need to worry about the bevel at all. And then we can always just mess with the sparsity if you really want. I'm going to leave it at zero because I want as many cylinders as I can get. And so now we have our regular uh, cube effect that some of you might know. But what we're going to do is we're going to take it a step farther by taking uh, hypernerbs and making the Griebler a child. And then what we're going to do with that is we're going to make our second extrude nerbs visible. And what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this material and drag it on over. And as you guys can see, if I render this, there's actually uh, spears, well cylinders that they look like, coming out of our object. And it looks really cool. It's a different way to do things. Um, there isn't many people that have done it. Uh, the way that we did it in the tutorial, you see it looks like different balls popping out. But what's really cool is if you use the same material, it actually looks like a stress displacement. But the rest of it isn't affected by the Griebler because what we did was we Griebler just that single polygon with the uh, different ways on the actual polygons that are affecting and creating the object. So as you see, we have these cylinders protruding out of our object in the center. It looks really cool. You guys can mess around with some atom array. I know I have some really cool materials down here that I might give out. I have like a black to white gradient that looks really awesome. And then I can always throw in this material that I have right here, which I think is awesome for tutorials. It's uh, it's really nice. And so yeah, for 150 likes, I will definitely give you guys a few materials to work with. Uh, this has been C1. Thank you for viewing the tutorial. 
there is going to be a subscribe button up in the top left if you weren't already subscribed I recommend we post daily content and thank you guys for checking out our video uh, we really appreciate it and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed thank you